When you approach women guys, during the approach, it could be right away or after a one to two minutes of small talk, right? You need to say something like, oh damn, you got some really cute lips, girl. Has anyone ever told you that before? Damn, oh damn, girl, yeah, your eyes, damn. You got some really dreamy eyes. God damn, mm, you so cute. Shit. They like, are you always out here looking this cute or is it just because you knew that you had a feeling that you were going to run into your boy, mighty boy Wenz out here. And so you, so you like, okay, damn, I got to look good. Well, what's going on with you? What's up? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? You gotta build some sort of sexual interest, right? You gotta build some sort of sexual interest, um, tension, my bad, right? You gotta show her that you're interested in her sexually, right? Stay off that platonic shit, right? YouTube, YouTube, man, what's popping with y'all, man? What's going on with it, gang? It's your boy, bringing y'all back another dope video, man. As y'all can see from the title, we're here to talk about the three things that you need to say to women when you approach them, right? So when you approach women, I've, I've noted down three things that you need to say along during your approach, at some point during your approach. You don't need to say these exact things the way I said them, but what I'm trying to say is that you need to say something along the lines of, of the three things I'm about to give you, right y'all? So I got my notes right here, right? And, but, and again, remember, this is in no order of importance. Right, it's just the list I made up, right, guys. And the thing is, too, guys, with these things, if you want to see true results with what I'm trying to say here, you have to go out and practice. You have to go out and use these techniques and these things on women, right? You have to go out there and actually talk and interact with women to see if these things work or not. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying, guys? Because a lot of y'all just watch me just to watch me. Y'all just watch me just to get the knowledge, but then y'all don't put the knowledge to use, and y'all complain and y'all mad that y'all not getting no ass. Right, so y'all gotta apply the game so y'all can see how it works for yourselves. You feel me? So, like the video and subscribe, man. Let's get right into it. So, the first thing, right, the very first thing that you need to make sure you say to a woman when you approach them is, Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Right, something along those lines, right? It doesn't have to be, you know. Um, hey, how's it going? Could be good. Hey, uh, how's your day going? How are you doing today? Hey, what's up? Right? Something along those lines of that. Because the thing is, though, what happens is dudes think that there's some sort of magical line. There's some sort of um, magic line you're gonna say, and any girl is gonna fuck with, fuck, uh, fall in love with you, right? Any girl is gonna start feeling you now all of a sudden. No. All you need to say is simply, hi, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Uh, how's it going today? Uh, how's your day going? Anything. Right, just like you're talking to a normal person, right? Dude, conf dudes confuse the shit and think that you need to say some special line or some extra pickup line, some cringy, fucking cheesy pickup line, and that and that and that's how you gonna get girls. But gee, you don't need to do any of that extra shit, right? Something along the lines of "Hey, how's it going?" Because see, this is you're gonna get a few cues from this, right? When you approach a woman, you say "Hey, how's it going?" Right? She's gonna say, oh, I'm good, how are you? Or she's gonna say, I'm good. And just look at you funny, right? See, if, she's, if she doesn't say, how about you, right? Then that, that's one, already one indicator that this chick's not really feeling you that much. Because if a chick really likes you and she wants to talk to you, she's gonna reciprocate that energy. She's gonna go, oh, I'm doing good, my day's going good. How about you, how's your day going today? She's gonna reciprocate that energy. She's gonna ask you the question back, which gonna, which gonna let you know that this girl kinda wants to talk to you, right? And also, uh, along with that too, is you should also say, hey, how's your, what's your name? Because again, it's gonna be the same thing, right? What I've noticed with this shit, with asking these questions, these questions, is that she'll give you her name. She'll be like, she'll be like one. My name is, I, uh, uh, yeah, my name is Teresa, and she'll just look at you funny. Or two, she'll go, oh, my name's Teresa. How about she? What's your name? Right? See, she asked it back again. So now I'll keep it going because in this case, she's asking me questions back. She wants to talk to me. This girl actually wants to be in my company, right? She wants to be out here talking to me like that, right? It's an indicator, right? It's a test, okay? So that's number one, right? Number two, the second thing you need to say to a woman when you approach them is something that has to do with the boyfriend, right? When you approach a woman, guys, you have to, you, you, during some point during the interaction, you must say something that goes along the line of finding out whether she has a boyfriend or not. Now. 
what you don't want to do is straight up ask her do you have a boyfriend right because earlier today <laughs> I was out I was going to get my hair cut right I saw a chick on the street I started talking to her and I asked her do you have a boyfriend and I realized fuck man I, I, I fucked it up I realized that was the point in the approach where I fucked it up I still got the number all right she still gave me her number but it's like sometimes you don't want to ask that because when you ask it straight up like that you just sound like a guy that's just out here approaching a bunch of girls even though you are but that's what you don't want to come across as that guy that's the thing right so something along like okay so where's your boyfriend at today you know or something like so would your boyfriend have a problem with uh you over here flirting with a sexy ass nigga like me like would your boyfriend mind that you know instead of asking hey do you have a boyfriend right that just kind of lets her know that you know uh you're trying to get at her it directly it directly lets her know that you're trying to get at her really right but the thing is though when you say it like oh um would your boyfriend have a problem with you flirting with, her, with a guy like a guy like me and she's gonna say oh no i don't have a boyfriend he 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 boyfriend blah 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 or she'll say oh yes he would or some shit so now you don't need to close the deal because you just got that information that you need to you need to know that she has a boyfriend now you don't need to pursue on to asking her out to you know doing any of that extra shit because she just told you she has a boyfriend right again just a test just a test guys all it is is the test to see if she has a boyfriend it's a test to see if it's worth closing the deal right should you close the deal with this chick yes sir that's all it is you feel what i'm saying guys so ask her something along the lines of whether she has a man or not but see the thing there's a downside to doing this right yeah you guys have to understand that there's a downside to doing this shit right and that downside is to if you bring up the boyfriend thing if you bring that up she might have had a boyfriend and she was planning on cheating on him with you but because you brought it up now she feels like she has to confess now she you got her thinking about it now she feels like she has to confess that's a downside of doing this right that's the downside of asking about the boyfriend shit because now she 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 might have been planning on on cheating on him with you because she likes you but now she's thinking otherwise now because she's like oh shit i can't do that like that now i gotta confess shit now she's thinking about it you know so that's what can go wrong with doing that okay next right the third thing that you must say to a woman when you approach them is something that displays sexual interest right see nowadays dudes man fuck this up a lot dudes go and approach chicks and they keep it on some platonic shit right they keep it on some friendly shit they don't display any sexual interest at all they don't let the, the chick know that they're feeling them so the chick doesn't know whether this guy is trying to get on a date he's trying to um you know get in her pants or he's trying to be friends right if you don't display any sexual interest at all if you don't flirt and build sexual ten sexual tension at all she's gonna take it as you just trying to be friends with her right she's just gonna automatically put you in the friend zone because you didn't flirt with her you didn't display any sexual interest you you're, right when you approach women guys during the approach it could be right away or after a one to two minutes of small talk right you need to say something like oh damn you got some really cute lips girl has anyone ever told you that before damn oh damn girl yeah, your eyes damn you got some really dreamy eyes god damn mm, you so cute shit they look, look, like are you always out here looking this cute or is it just because you knew that you had a feeling that you were gonna run into your boy mighty boy wins out here and so you so you like okay damn i gotta look good well, what's going on with you what's up yeah, you see what I'm saying? You gotta build some sort of sexual interest, right? You gotta build some sort of sexual interest, um, tension, my bad, right? You gotta show her that you're interested in her sexually, right? Stay off that platonic shit, right? If you're just over here talking about the weather, oh, so the sky is blue today, oh, yeah, it's a nice day today, yeah, 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 yeah. She, yeah, she can reciprocate that she can talk to you back and ask you questions back but the thing is though she's gonna take it as you're just trying to be friends right because you didn't display any sexual interest during that conversation you didn't let her know that you thought she was cute you never let, let it be known that you thought she was looking good you did like or anything that you never touched her you never did anything like that that would let her know that okay this guy is really trying to get at me like that so she can respond to you in that way right See, when you keep it on some platonic shit, right, what happens is that she is gonna, she has to decide, 
right? She gets to the, respond to it in whichever way she wants to respond to it, which most likely gonna be, let's just be friends, right? Let me get all this free attention out of you and I don't have to do nothing, right? Versus when you display sexual interest, you're letting her know that you're interested in her sexually, she has to respond to that. She has to think about whether she wants to have sex with you or not, whether she wants to go on a date with you or not, whether she wants to be with you romantically or sexually. <clears throat> right? She has to respond to that. So then this way, if she's gonna say no, she can say no right now so you can keep it pushing. So you can find out right away without wasting any time. That's the whole entire point. Time is money. Right? The quicker you get rejected, the quicker you can move on to the next girl. So I mean the quicker you can find the girl that wants you and is down for what you want. You see how that works out? Right, but so many dudes are out here, oh, trying to keep this shit on some platonic shit, right? Not displaying any sexual interest at all, not flirting, not making any moves at all. And they're wondering what, why or how they got in the friend zone. Well, that's how, right? So, first things first, you ask your questions, right? I'm gonna go over this shit one more time, man. So you guys can re uh, remember what the fuck we talked about. And also, watch this shit a couple times. So you this shit becomes second nature. I know I say this every video, but the thing is though, guys, it's you have to, right? So it becomes second nature to you. So you, it becomes something that you do normally without even thinking about it, right, y'all? So the first thing we talked about was ask your questions, ask her what her name is, ask her how's it going to see if she reciprocates that energy and ask you it back. And number two, Ask her, uh, say something that has to do with the boyfriend to find out, to get information on whether she has a man or not, right? Number three, uh, make sure you do or say something that displays sexual interest. That lets the chick know that you like her like that, you like her romantically and or sexually, right? And let her know that you're not down for that platonic friends bullshit. Let her know you get the fuck out of here with that, you're not down with it, right? <coughs> and yeah, that's it, man. So with that being said, man, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, share the video, man. Remember, man, love your boys. Make sure y'all get out there, put in that work, and holla at these chicks, man. I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.